bee farm and thank God we got beautiful weather today because I think tomorrow we got rain all day. One more, in the red there. I do not have any cows at all, zero. I have what type of cattle? Beef? So we call them, we got steers, correct. The thing is that we don't have cows to milk, so we don't have the morning chores and the night chores. That's the biggest difference. Inside the cage is a, a drum that rotates at around 300 RPMs. And what that does is it takes the cob of corn, it comes inside the cage, and that drum basically knocks the kernels off the cob. And the kernels will fall through the cage down onto an auger here. I wanted to get something that I don't break the corn off and I can spray that fungicide on the corn so you don't get this disease. It's called the harsh crop. They're on seven and a half, sometimes eight inch spacing. That's kind of what a drill is. It's around seven, eight inches in spacing. When they have horses, and you have a 40 acre farm, or an 80 acre farm, you would grow about half the farm, 20 acres, 10 acres, and go for a feed just to take care of the horses and the cattle through the winter. Come on, put your head down here. So they're going to push on this, and now they're locked in. The heads, you know, are much bigger. So it'll be locked in, and I won't get kicked. And About 80% of what we touch and eat has corn in it. It's interesting how corn is used a lot. Can I go to the field and get something pretty? No, not really. I mean, the wheat's starting to look pretty nice, but they're not going to get very far on that. It sucks the grain in, and then it shoots it up that pipe all the way to the top, and there's a hole about this big in pipe. We have a door up top. Use the dryer that's off to my right here to dry the corn. That's one way. A lot of times people think it's in the garden. A lot of times 